Today, online and on DAB. It's a new frontier in broadcasting. The two mics on Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. Good evening, I'm Mike Graham, he's Mike Parry. You're listening to The Two Mics, live right here on Talk Radio. We've got another smorgasbord of entertainment, information and downright infatuation coming your way for the next three hours. First up, we're going to recruit for Porky's Armed Forces. He thinks we need to spend more money on defence. I don't know what he's scared of. I think we've already spent enough, quite frankly. We've got some flat earthers coming on to agree with Porky that electric cars aren't the future and that the planet isn't really round. Uh, Well, okay, Uh, let's talk to David Weiss, who's the host of the Flat Earth podcast, uh, because over in uh, the United States of America, they've just had a conference... Right. called the Flat Earth International Conference. Now, uh, these guys are not to, to be mocked. They're not to be uh, in any way sort of made fun of. Because well, so, they, sorry, who they thinks have, we will? Well, I'm just saying that Why they have... Why would you raise that? Well, because they have a belief, right, that in fact all of the evidence... Rude, you know. Hang on, all of the evidence which we are told mm. that the Earth spins at 1,040 miles per hour while travelling yeah. around the sun at 66,000 miles per hour, mm. uh, the, the solar system moves through the Milky Way galaxy at 490,000 miles per hour. They say there's no evidence to prove any of this stuff. Mm. So let's ask David uh, what he actually thinks. David, a very good evening to you. Welcome to the show. Hello, Mike and Mike. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. No, no, not at all. Thank you very much for for, for, uh, for joining joining us. us. Now, now the Flat Earth International Conference um, has just finished. I think it was last week. Uh, What was the purpose of that? How many people were there? Tell us about it. There was uh, over 600 attendees. More people showed up than tickets uh, were available. It was probably the largest gathering of Flat Earthers in a long time. I believe there's another conference in the UK coming up uh, not too long from now, but uh, I don't know exactly when it is. So that's something to look out for. Okay. Um, but one other thing you said, we don't believe that the earth is spinning. No. Belief is the enemy of knowing. We've been told things our entire life, and uh, there's no proof. We're just told as kids, you live here, you're spinning, you're flying through space, yeah. and there's nothing that proves that. And as a matter of fact, when you test it, uh, there is no motion to the earth. Okay, so, David, I was going to say to you, my first point to put you is you you don't really believe the Earth is flat, do you? I know that it doesn't spin, so therefore... Okay, it is flat so if, if it opinion. doesn't spin... Hang on, I didn't hear the end of his answer. Sorry, David, say it again. Say that again. I said... He asked if I don't, if I believe, if I don't really believe the Earth is flat. It's not about believing; it's about looking, observing, and understanding. Let me ask you a question: You do you really believe that when you watch the sunset that you're falling over backwards faster than the speed of sound? No, but let me ask you this: If you stand that in is, a field, that is what you believe? Let, let me let me ask you: If you that stand in, you, believe. you come from America, right. you stand in a field uh, in Wyoming, you look up at the sky, and the sky is moving across your head. So where's that movement coming from? Well, the if clouds the earth... are moving, aren't they? Yeah, of course. If the if the if the you know if the Earth is standing still, where where's the movement coming from? So the Earth is a flat plane, and the, and what we call stars and planets, uh, which is a whole other discussion, above us are all rotating around a center star that we call Polaris that is lined up with our center North Pole. Just uh, let me give you a quick explanation of what the flat Earth is, because if you Google flat Earth. You're going to get the Flat Earth Society, which nobody at the conference believes the nonsense on that site or the images that they show. Just imagine a large, you know, an expansive flat plane frozen, Mm. and we have a local sun, that small sun that is circling over it like a little heat lamp, and it melts out a giant lake, a Mm. giant ocean. Mm. And all of the islands in the middle are all of the continents. And the shoreline that surrounds us, where the sun is unable to melt any further, that's all Antarctica. And so that, that's all Antarctica. Antarctica is not a continent at the bottom of a ball. It's the expansive land that surrounds the flat Earth ocean. So right. you're saying that, the, that you believe the world is actually flat then? Well, it, you keep saying I believe that. It's I look at evidence. Well, and I, and I, I'm I, just I, asking you. Well, all right, I'm asking you. Indoctrination. All right, well, let me ask you the question yeah. a different way. Is the world flat? Absolutely. And by the way, when people started telling me that the earth was flat, I wouldn't even watch a one minute video. But after relentless people saying, you got to look, you got to look, you got to look. I finally said, I've had enough of this nonsense and I'm going to debunk it. Mm. And I went in to debunk it. And that's how you become a flat earther. Okay. well, how did what did here's a well, hang on, hang on, mate. Uh, What did John Glenn do when he got into that spaceship and it shot it into the sky and he went round the earth and then came back again? Where was he? Where did he go if the earth's flat? So he went up over and landed in the Southern Oceans. And there's no other proof of anything other than that. If you watch any space launch, the, the rocket goes up. No, but, no, but he, he the orbited switches. the Earth. And, on, and, the camera uh, switches to a cartoon. Yeah. There, there's, there's no evidence of that. 
um, all spaceships go up out over the ocean, and then we're showing a cartoon. And I'm like, oh, there they are in space. Well, There's hang on, no John Clem must be part of a huge conspiracy because he actually saw well, the, the edge well, of the footage, Earth all well, the way around. Well, there's footage of the Earth exactly. as, as, a, as, a, as a round object uh, from space, isn't there? So, no, there's not. There's well, only, what, what, uh, well, what is that fabricated? Are you saying that's fabricated? Here's the problem that everybody gets into. Oh, you didn't answer the, you didn't answer the question. Things. You've got to answer the question, David, otherwise we're not going to get I'm anywhere. I'm going to answer it. I'm well, well is it, are, gonna, you saying that those, are you saying that the, the pictures that we have seen from space of the Earth as a spherical object are fabricated? Yes, they are. They're, the NASA even admits it that they're... That they're uh, <laughs> That they're CGI, no, that no. they're put together. No, NASA does not admit they that admit they fabricate it. their photographs. Let me ask you. Yeah, can you? Let me ask you another you question. Have you ever been? Marble, have you, you ever flown in a marble an... shot? They say that it, it's no. Photoshop because it has no, no, no. to be coming straight from NASA. No, that's rubbish. You're you're using well, their you're own words. No, no, you no you're you're using, using no, their you're, own words. you're using their own words and twisting them into something to suit your purposes, right? Have you ever been in an aeroplane? And looked out of the window to see the curvature of the Earth. I used to think I saw curvature, but NASA will even tell you that you can't see curvature until you're about seventy thousand feet high. And I don't know any airplanes that go that high. Well, I've Next seen it. I've seen airplane, it. I've seen it in a plane that goes fifty thousand feet high, right? And people who flew on right. Concorde have taken pictures of it, so we've seen it from people who were on Concorde including who could me. see the curvature of the Earth, including my colleague yeah. who's sitting next to me, who might be many things, but he is not a liar. Mike, let me respond to you because I used to have that same argument, and I used to look at that. Um, the pictures from the Concorde, we can't find any that are not done with either a fisheye lens or looking through curved glass. But better than that, we sent balloons up 121,000 feet mm. with a non-fisheye lens, and we show a perfectly flat, expansive high, um, horizon. You We're have. Well, flat. you personally Anyone sent balloons only, up. Yeah. You've, well, of course you've we said, have, but, but, if you're, but, but you're from the, the people who believe the Earth is flat, so you would be seeking to prove a point. So why should we trust your pictures any more than anybody else's? Well, we're just putting we're just putting them up there. We're showing the equipment that we use, um, and and it's it's real. You know, we're not using a fisheye lens. The, the mm. pictures, you know, everyone's like, what about the the red bull jump? And if you look at the red bull jump, the entire Arizona is is a quarter of the Earth. Mm. It's using a fisheye lens versus a flat lens. Da David, it's, why it's why does a it regular what? regular non distorting lens? Why does it? Why do you view your life mission to prove that the Earth is flat? Does it matter to you whether you live on a flat Earth or a round Earth? It's a good question. Well, that that is a that is a great question, and and it. I used to I used to say, you know what? When I started realizing that we don't live on a spinning ball, I said, what difference does it make? I still have to go to work. Hmm. I still have to you know do everything else. Yep. But what it is is the 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 people that are ruling the earth the real rulers of their, this earth don't want us knowing who we are where we are what we are they want us thinking we're an insignificant speck of dust flying in an infinite universe well, we are um, but when you discover that we live on an intelligently designed system mm. uh, it changes everything you end up finding out that you are truly a powerful being um, but they want to keep us in this low level who are they uh, who are who are these thinking, people well who are, these are the bloodlines that have been running the planet, you know, that are controlling the governments, you know, the Rothschilds, the Morgan. Oh, no, no, David, David, please. Yeah. I didn't think you were going to turn into some mad conspiracy theorist that was going to tell me that Washington was designed by the Masons. Wasn't it? Huh? I mean, look, at look, you're, you're telling you're me You're just that another crazy conspiracy nut. Masons. You're just another crazy conspiracy well, theorist. You could you could say that, but I'm just looking at evidence evidence about the flat Earth. We're talking about the the shape of the Earth. There's no evidence that it's. But you moving. think, but you but you think the Roth, but you believe. Hang on, but there's no evidence that the Rothschilds run the world either. But you believe that. Well, see, it's not about that. Well, let's stick let's stick to. You asked me who's doing it, and and as a matter of fact, I probably shouldn't have said anything because I'm speculating. That I have no proof. So of, that's what I mean. So I you're so you've got so you've moved away I, from what you call your evidence that the Earth is in fact flat to a sort of very Mike, fanciful. Let me give you some, let very me give you some very. Evidence. Hang on, don't let talk me over me, evidence. David. It doesn't work. Just wait till I finish, and then yeah. you can have your answer. The point is, you've moved away from that, sure. and now and now gone back into the kind of the uh, the favourite hiding place of every conspiracy theorist who thinks that. You know, uh, people, you know, lizard men and uh, the members of the royal family and the Rothschilds uh, and usually something to do with the Jewish population are running the world. Don't group me in with all, the, all of that. Well, I, you've I've just, you've just identified yourself as one of them. 
so you no, I, I said that there are people that are have the upper hand on uh, controlling government. Mm. Well, who and, are uh, these people though? Yeah, have you yeah. ever met any of them? Well, they well, don't exist, do they? David, no, let me ask you this, please, because I want to ask you practical questions. Let me, let, ha- has anybody yeah, so ever fought? No, am has, I be able to answer any of the questions that you're asking me? No, has anybody ever fallen off the Earth? Has a ship ever got to the perimeter, the 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 perimeter of the Earth, and fallen off? Uh, have you ever sailed on a lake? Has a boat ever fallen off the edge of a lake? No, because a lake has a border. It has a border where water right. turns to it's land. No, but if earth. you no, but if you're on Lake Michigan, right. yeah. so there's a horizon earth. which is yeah. nothing but water. Yeah. So well, no. What so I'm if the is, Earth is flat, why have people fallen off it? Get to the end. Well, so if you want to hear my answer, I'll explain it. Because the Earth is not a disk floating in space, because that is disinformation. Right. The Earth is a lake on a Earth plane. The Earth is all that there is. And when you get far enough away from the sun, it's frozen land. You know, it's a frozen edge, and we call that Antarctica. Mm. You can't fall off the edge, just like you can't fall off the edge of a lake. What I encourage everyone to do is don't believe anything I'm saying, because that would be insane. Do your own research. There's videos out there. A great one to start. It's called The Stranger's Guide to Flat Earth, 21 Questions. It's on YouTube. It's free. Check it out, and uh, you'll have a lot of your questions answered. Be where Superman and lives and Crichton, you know, uh, you Well, see let me ask you another question, David. What's your view, or, or, or if you don't want me to ask you what your view or your belief is, of other planets in our solar system? Do you believe that we are in a solar system? Uh, are we in a solar system? Are other planets in the solar system also flat? So the only uh, – I'm going to answer that. The only information that we have on uh, planets, the only images that we've ever seen are from NASA and Disney, and both of them are uh, – you know, Disney is more credible than NASA. NASA has never put anything into uh, high orbit. They admit now that they can't go past low Earth orbit, um, but they don't – but somehow in the 1960s, they went – they put men on the moon six times. Uh, which doesn't make any what sense. About the, uh, what about the, the European... Data. What about the all of the data how to do that. What about the European Space Agency? That's got nothing to do with NASA. They've put up satellites and they've sent pictures back. That's nothing yeah. to do with NASA. They're all the same. No, they're, they're not. They're all part of the same. Oh, they're all part they're of the same all, conspiracy. Believe that they're separate. So you they're don't believe that there are... Uh, so, so are you saying... Are you saying... Hang on, David. Deceive the public. Are you saying that basically um, there are no other planets, that they're all a figment of somebody's imagination? They're not on, well, see, the only thing that we can tell you about what we see in the sky is that they're lights. We see these small lights in the sky. The planets used to be called wandering stars because they're just like stars. Uh, and they move around. And if you, you can zoom in on them with a P900, you know, super zoom camera, but they look nothing like what NASA and Disney show us. Mm-hmm. If you look at the recent picture of Pluto that NASA gave us, uh, there's actually a silhouette of the Disney character Pluto on it. Just look it up. Look up, uh, you know, we can picture <laughs> of Pluto. And you'll see Pluto sounds, right, okay. Sounds, what do you do for a living, David? Is this what you do for a living? Absolutely not. I'm a businessman, uh, and uh, and it has nothing to do with this. This is what I do in my spare time because uh-huh. I like uh, I don't like being deceived my whole life, and I and I don't like the fact that that we've been lied to in in such a great way that we. Uh, or we'll have difficulty thriving as a race if we let the, these deceivers keep us locked the deceivers. in the planet uh, yeah. thought. Right. Who yeah. are these deceivers? Uh, you, you keep asking me that. And, you know, I don't mind yeah. you taking care Okay, there. okay, David, listen, let me ask you. Well, if you keep accusing matter, people of doing something, you should yeah. at least be able well, to identify well, them. Well, hang on, let's, let's move on to new territory yeah. here, David, please. Have you, have you spoken sure. to people who, whose profession is to travel around the world. And I'm talking, for instance, of airline pilots. Now, if I get into an aeroplane yeah. in Great Britain and I fly to Australia, which I've done on a number of occasions, then the pilot of the aeroplane who's, uh, who's flying me there is travelling halfway around the world. And then when he brings me back, he travels around the other half of the world because I believe the world is uh, spherical. So have you spoken to them and asked them for evidence about their flights around a spherical world, and has anything they've ever told you reinforced your reinforced your view that the Earth is flat? Will you give me sixty seconds to answer this one? Yeah, please. Go on then. So, air, airplanes. The word airplane, airplane, flies over the flat Earth plane. So, if the Earth was flat, like I say, the airplane goes up to altitude, flies in a straight line, and lands. If you look at the route on the globe from uh, to go from, uh, let's say. Uh, 
the Santiago, Chile to Australia. It goes all the way up the north. It goes up to America. It goes over to Dubai and back down rather than straight across. Yes, that's, that's a right. crazy big V. Yeah, but but on a flat Earth map, that is a straight line. If you look at the flat Earth map, airplane. We have many airplane pilots that have spoken out quietly, mm. but if they speak out publicly, they they are no when longer say, allowed. Well, when you say fly. spoken out quietly, that means not spoken out, right? Well, correct. They they've come out and they and they talk about how um, they they realize that the Earth is flat, but there's nothing they can do about it. The airplane pilots have, you know, taken video and and shown us, um, you know, how the what they see and how they when they're flying in the northern Arctic area, mm. they could see the sun going all the way around. There was a flight from California to Germany, and the sun went right around the flat Earth plane and came back just like you would see it. But if the, um, there, let me just ask you one question about that, please, David. If sure. the world is indeed flat, how does it become quicker to fly over the North Pole if you're going from New York, from London to, 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 to Los Angeles, than if you fly the other way and go over New York City? I'm glad, I'm glad you asked that. If you, if you look at the flat Earth map, um, and by the way, the flat Earth map is not exactly accurate and neither any of the globe maps it's not that, accurate. that we're presented with. No, and well, there's no is, use as a map world. then, is it? Well, Hang on, it's very close, but there, there are, they're, they're not, they're not showing us it, and and it's difficult for us to figure it out. But we're, we are working on the map. But if you look at the AE uh, map, which has been used for navigation for years, uh, the north is the center, and you can fly over the center to get to the other side of the planet. But it's really just across the plane where you're crossing the center. As soon as you cross the North Pole, you're going north. You cross the North Pole, and now you're going south, and you can get over to any spot you want. Nobody has ever. Well, so that means that. No, hang on. That planet. means that there's something on the other side of the North Pole. Therefore, it can't be flat. You're not. You're not uh, paying attention. The oh, I'm paying attention. As a flat. Well, well, you're not understanding. The center is the North Pole, and the all of the islands, all of the continents, surround the North Pole. So you can go over the center, and east and west are circles around the center, and that's true on a globe or on a flat Earth. But to go east, you have to go in a circle. You have to, If you're going 90 degrees or 270 east or west, you have to constantly correct to the north to maintain that heading, and anybody can do that with a magnet and a compass. Try to make a straight line and maintain a heading of east to west. You can't. Mm-hmm. It, it goes around. Same on a globe, same on a flat Earth. The yeah. problem is nobody has done it north to south because you can't. Because mm-hmm. when you go south, you're going away from the center, and that keeps on going, and it remains south. Okay. East and west are circles, heading. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Oh. Well, everyone needs to do their own research, and uh, I have tons of short videos on my YouTube channel, which is D-I-T-R-H, stands for Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. Uh, check that out. Check out uh, Jaronism, uh, another channel that will really expose NASA. And I highly recommend so people think, start so, out with a stranger's so, so you, letter, 21 questions. Do you think NASA is a, a, a sort of um, a malevolent force in the world? Well, not a malevolent force. They a are a force. Hollywood uh, yeah. studio. Yeah, yeah 100%. They're force, here okay. to prove that we can walk on a ball. So you don't think um, that so man... That so presumably you don't think man landed on the moon either then? Absolutely not. Uh, what about this guy from uh, Twitter, Alan, who's one of our listeners? He says, I've seen planets through my lad's telescope. What do you make of that? And they're lights. All, all you have, they're, they're, everything is just a light in the sky, and they have their own frequency. They do uh, crazy things. But what about boats going over the horizon? You know, we're all shown that four-masted ship going over the horizon. But now that uh, t- optics have changed, you can watch a ship go over the horizon, zoom in with your camera, and there's the ship again. Hmm. No, I can't it, do that. It, I haven't got that sort of camera. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, do you believe in God, David? Yeah, simple camera. Yeah. Do you believe in God? Um, I did. I didn't before I discovered that we live in an intelligently designed system. So, yeah, there is a creator. I'm not putting any label on them because I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you do believe in God? He believes in a creator. Well, I believe that there is a creator, that we live in a, a created, whether we, we are all part of God or yeah. there is a benevolent God or whatever. Um, this is an intelligently designed uh, world that we live in. I see. Okay, David, well, listen, thank, thank you, for you very much for taking the time to talk us. to us, David. David Weiss Very there, the host of the Flat Earth podcast.
Uh, you see, the danger with uh, all of that is uh, it becomes one of these ridiculous conspiracy theories. Well, not where, really, because nobody else believes it. Well, loads of people believe it. There's a lot of vulnerable people out there I, who I, think uh, that they're being controlled, right, by some kind of uh, malevolent force, which is, like, he, yeah. as he calls them, the deceivers. I I, right? uh, I felt, I started to feel a bit sorry for him, because I think you're very harsh on him. You're shouting him down a lot. I wasn't you know, shouting and, and at not, him. And not letting him expand. Because not at all. I don't believe it's used, you don't believe it's used, but he's got every right to express those That's views. why we put him on the show. He was and, on the show for about 15 minutes. And that's why other people who are listening can make up their own mind about well, it. Well, people want to call us about it and they want to talk to us about it. I'd and that's what to. we would like them to do. Why I'd don't you give them. out the number? I'm going to give out the number. The problem is that, you know, we don't... Uh, we don't uh, the, the problem is that although you say 15 minutes, everything he said, we knocked down. Whereas well, because like, it was all cobblers. Well, yeah, you say that, you see. But, I mean, you know, for instance, if we'd have asked him, how come the sun can rise in the east and set in the west? Yeah. On a flat Earth, I mm. suppose it can, because it because the sun. Well, can don't s- talk rubbish. No, the still the sun can still come round and rise in the east on a flat Earth. Well, what, and oh, what, set oh, in well, the west. on what basis is the sun on that in on that trajectory? Well, the if sun, the Earth is not a, a, a you know a curved shape. No, the sun must then be orbiting the Earth. You see what I mean? Well, yeah, but the, yeah, but what what shape is the sun then? The sun is. Is the sun is, flat as well? No, no. The sun's spherical, and the, and the sun moves around. But he didn't say the sun wasn't. He said other planets. The sun's not a planet. No, of course. It's rubbish. You see, the trouble with you is you listen to somebody for long enough, no. and you start believing it. No. You know, anyway, give us a call. Even more of a plank than you are. Give us a call, please. O three double four four nine nine one thousand. Let mm. us know what you think of David, who's just been on. He is from the Flat Earth International Conference. I mean, is anything that he said over the last fifteen minutes making sense to you? Well, Let of us know. It's not. Let no, if you think any of that made sense, I would love to hear from somebody who could tell me why. Uh, this is Talk Radio with it too much. Uh, Ian says, oh, my God, this flat earther bloke is hilarious. Hard to believe a reasonably sane sounding guy could be such a nutter. Mm. Uh, hashtag uh, flat earth.org. But these now, guys do believe in themselves. Well, you're, right, you're right to raise the David Icke thing. Yeah. The very first uh, TV interview David Icke did. Well, I didn't he... raise the David Icke thing, but we mentioned it in passing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying, you know, and, and when he was when they, he said, well, I People believe love I'm, this stuff. I believe I'm the son of God. Mm. He was asked by the interviewer, I can't remember the interview it was, was it Terry Wogan? Or... It might well have been, yeah. Yeah, you know, sorry, did you just say that you think you're, and he, and he said quite seriously, yes, I believe I am the son of God. Right, okay. Yeah. And uh, so this guy was cleverer than that because yeah. he didn't say, I believe this. He mm. said, no, this is a fact. Mm. He didn't say yeah. that he believes the Earth is flat. He mm. said the Earth is flat. Yeah, does, Let's yeah. talk to Callum, who's in Sheffield, good idea. Uh, who I think also believes the Earth is flat. Callum, um, a very good evening to you. Evening, yeah, I've, I've been looking at a flat Earth and I'm pretty convinced it's flat. How, how are you convinced it's flat? <laughs> well, just by looking on the horizon, it's flat. Well, that's uh, what people uh, used to do when Christopher Columbus was around. They yeah. thought, don't go out that way because you'll fall off the end of the Earth. And it's uh, there's like a, there's a big ice wall around. You're like, if you look on a clock, uh, and it's like this big ice wall. But hey. if you look at uh, big ice wall, Antarctica, it's mm. a huge ice wall. Yeah, okay, well, well, hang on. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't like listen, well. I can stand. I can stand on the beach in Hastings, right? And I can look out to sea, uh, which is generally speaking the English Channel. Normally, what I see, uh, as uh, our friend David was telling us, is a couple of ships on the horizon. What I don't see is an ice wall. We'd well, have to go a long way out. It's Antarctica. We're, we're well, you have to go a hell of a long way out from the, Eng- from the English Channel. Hang you? on, mate. We're in the Northern yeah, Hemisphere. Quite a bit way from the English Channel. That's great, Cal- yeah. Cal- Callum, we're in the Northern Hemisphere. Antarctica is in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, yeah. Can I ask you this? Whereabouts do you come from? Uh, Sheffield. Sheffield. And have you travelled extensively, Callum? I've been on an aeroplane once Where? and uh, looked out the window to Benidorm and it... Benidorm? It flat, <laughs> right? OK. So you I mean, I'd Benidorm. have to say, even Sheffield, <laughs> even on, Sheffield Callum, is not flat. Uh, 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 Sheffield's quite hilly. Hang on, let's it, just get this right, Callum. You're, you're, uh, you're thi- uh, yeah, that's to do with mountains. It's, the Earth itself is that lake thing no, where no, the horizon's flat. Hang on, flat. Callum, let's, let's get this right. Your theory that the Earth is flat is based on one flight from... Which airport did you take off uh, from in this country? East Midlands. East Midlands. East Midlands so, Airport. So, Great so, airport. So, so, and East, as well. so East Midlands to Alicante, yeah. presumably, right, is your, is your one and only you flight. Him. No, I'm not mocking him, but that takes three hours. And on that flight, you, you believe... You can if you aren't. <laughs> no, you believe you worked out that the Earth is flat, yeah? Well, I've also looked into it, and I've looked at Eric DeBay, who explains it better than anyone, better than me, but he's really good. Yeah. What did you, you think of the guy... The moon, what did you think of David Weiss's explanation? Uh, sun and, if you look at sun and moon, they do rise in east and both set in west. Mm-hmm. Well, and, the moon uh, doesn't. No, hang on, the moon doesn't rise or set. It's uh, it's out for longer, but they both fall at the same pattern. What? 
And it moves its own line at the same size. No, no the, the moon, moon is, is, the moon is, the moon, is, well. is the moon consistently is a different size every time you look at it. Of course it's a different size. The moon is only the moon. Callum, the moon's only the moon. No, no, Callum, the moon is only the moon uh, because of the light of the sun. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It lights itself up because it's out at night and it's out in day. No, no, it's not, mate. Uh, what do you mean? Like, when you say, I'll hang on, I'll Callum. Sun at one side. Callum, hang on a second. I've seen sun in west and uh, yeah. moon Cal in east. Yeah. Hang, hang on a second, we'll Callum. That. Let's go back to your description of how the moon lights itself. It's just this, how does this it do that, then? Hey? It's its own light, moonlight. It's its own light. Well, where does that light the come? The moon's a cold light. Mm. Where's the, the yeah? But hang on, light. Callum, you've got to listen occasionally, okay? Listen to what I'm saying. Where does the light come from? It lights itself up. It's a luminary. The luminaries. What do you mean it's luminary? Well, you mean people like candles on the moon? No, it's its own light, like the sun. The it, yin and no, yang. No, it doesn't generate its own light. light. No, no, light. Callum, you may not have noticed, but the moon is not generally speaking on fire. The sun is. Yeah, because the moon's a cold light, the sun's a hot light. The sun's a hot light, nice and the moon's a cold oh. light. Yeah, I don't quite get that. But so, anyway, so now that you think that the Earth is flat, Callum, how does that change your life? It just makes me a bit free of thinking and just spread, uh, kind of spread knowledge, I guess. Mm. Okay. Have, you got any, have you got any mates that have you, have you got any mates that believe that it's also flat, like you? I've got, uh, yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, I've got quite a lot. We're into this sort of stuff. Eh? Well, so a lot of you in Sheffield think Look, the earth, the world is flat, then? Well, it's quite a few in Sheffield around the world, but we're... Uh, around the world? Oh, what, looking... people that think it's flat? It's all, yeah, it's, uh, it's growing, this. Well, how can you be around the world if you think it's flat? Good question. <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, yeah, I, but... Callum, what do you think I of these great pictures? What? of all ages. Have you heard of Manly P. Hall? Of what? Of who? There was a guy called Manly P. Hall. Man he did all. teachings of all ages, yeah. He, he covered everything under sun, under, under firmament, everything. Sunderland? Everything you can think of. OK, I'm sure everything. he did. But let me ask you this, Callum, more hey. practically. When you see these wonderful pictures of the Earth, which always shows it to be blue because there's so much water around the globe, what do you think that is? They just CGI Photoshop. Well, why, uh, why, why, why? Space. So there must have been a conspiracy going on then for hundreds of years. Is, it's, all, it's all to control us. Well, do you feel uh, like you're controlled then, Callum? Everybody is. We're living in a matrix. Are we? It's a matrix system, yeah. I, I, I'll tell, I'll, you know I'll how, you know how mad that sounds, don't you? Well, why, why if we're yeah, living in a matrix? The they tell hang on. It's mad, well, Callum, hang on. Well, let me mad. ask. Listen, listen. No, you listen to me for a second. And then no, uh, you listen to me, Callum. Wait, no, uh, no, you've got to listen to us. Say. Let me have a say. Go on, go well, on, no, Callum. No, because I, I want to ask him a question. Well, he's trying to tell us something. Go on, Callum. Go on, Callum. No, the reason they say that everybody's mad or laugh at me, then system are controlling us, and they go, oh, nobody's believing truth. But they can't hide truth for me. I, I have got autism, and that might widen my perception. We mm. Asperger's, I don't know. We do look into this sort of stuff. Yeah, but, but the I point, the point is this, Callum. If we were being controlled by somebody, right, would we not all think the same way? Uh, we, yeah, even though we'd have different personalities, we'd both be on the same page. Yeah, but we're not, are we? We know definitely not. So we have freedom of will. We do have freedom of and will. And we have freedom yeah. of thought. Yeah, yeah. We do. Free so so that, that doesn't make sense, down. does it? Listen, Cal Callum, 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 I appreciate you... When are you uh, going to Benidorm next? I don't know. No. <laughs> OK, OK. It's a bit warmer than here, though, isn't it? it certainly is. Yeah, yeah OK. So That's because it's closer to the sun. Yeah, so Cal Callum, <laughs> if, uh, if somebody said to you, uh, come with me and we buy one of these round-the-world uh, tickets, you can get these round-the-world airline tickets, you know, yeah. you go from here to New York and then Los Angeles yeah. and then Australia and then you come back via Singapore and all that, well, uh, presumably you wouldn't buy one because you wouldn't think you were going round the world. That's right. I would, but I'd look at it with my own perspective. I'm up for anything. Yeah, I'll experiment any set. I'm in, I'm into everything. It doesn't bother me. Okay, well listen. Never stop experimenting, exploring. Okay, well listen. Re mind. Really appreciate you ringing us and giving us the benefit of your knowledge Thank you, because you've got to remember we accept all points of view on this show. We do. We don't necessarily we don't agree believe them. them, but uh, we we accept uh, yeah. people having them. Uh, here's one from Stevie who says we're not all like that from Sheffield, Mike. For God's sake. Right. Which I think is a very good way of putting it. You're not I, going to tell I, us what you think he is. I've always said I believe in the Almighty oh, yeah. because, I, you know, where did we come from? Where do we go to? And yeah. all that kind of stuff. And I thought the way he put it, a creator, was actually a very, uh, you know, very prescient way of uh, explaining it. Uh -huh. Here's mm. one from Iron Lion. Does Porky the Christian believe the Bible teaches flat earth theory? Mm. And he quotes from 1 Chronicles, verses 16 to 30. Yeah. He has fixed the earth firm, immovable. 
and Psalm mm. 104, mm. thou didst fix the earth on its foundation so that it can never be shaken. Yes, but that was nothing to do with the physical presence of the earth. That was to do about the moral fibre of the earth, believe uh -huh. me. I see. That was nothing to do with the physicality All of right. it. I studied the Bible, so I know these things. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, talk to Ian. He's in Southampton. Right. Uh, because he's got a view on whether the earth is flat. Ian, a very good evening to you. Welcome. Yeah, good evening, Mike. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually in Paul in Dorset, but oh, I do support Southampton. Oh, I beg your pardon. Well, uh, well, since we live, if, since we live on the flat Earth, that's not really much of a problem, is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's you're hearing this sort of information probably for the first time in, in any sort of capacity where mm. more than one person said it. Mm. So for you guys, and and like with everybody else, the first. The first and main reactions that you have are, you know, God, don't be so stupid. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Or whatever, it's know. not actually the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen or heard, but carry on. <laughs> I've been doing uh, the radio you know, shows for many you know years. What I mean? the, um, just, just going back, the um, the film you were talking about was the Truman Show. It you was know? indeed. You're quite right. Yeah, but you know, remember that bit where he gets uh, where he goes off in the storm, or well, he doesn't go off in the storm, but they try and stop him from escaping, and they and they manufacture the storm, and then he hits the wall at the end mm. because there is no yeah. horizon. It's when he suddenly discovers that he is not, in fact, in a real environment. Well, you know, up until three years ago, I thought exactly the same as you, and exactly the same as everybody else. And when someone would have mentioned it to me, I would have said exactly the same thing. You know, you're absolutely crazy. Um, and for whatever reason, I have no idea, I decided to have a look into the subject, probably for mm -hmm. the fact that I thought it's so ridiculous, you know, let's go and have a look. Mm. And, and then you, and you actually really, if you study it and if you, if you start to do and realise what it could be rather than what I believe you are conditioned to be or to believe, mm. um, and I think you're conditioned at a very early age that, you know, we live on a You're making that or, assumption, you know, though, which you shouldn't do about people. I don't know. It's only in retrospect. I mean, obviously, it is an assumption, but it's, it's retrospectively trying to pick, fit some pieces together as to no. why the subject of, of the Earth being flat has such an issue with so many people. Well, it's because mm. it's rubbish. Well, are, that's why it's an issue. But, Ian, the point... No, hang on a second before you go any further, because oh. you are okay. what I would describe as, you know, the calm and rational uh, type of conspiracy theorist, right? Who, because you're calm and rational, think that it sounds like it's more normal. But actually, it's no more normal uh, than what the guy in Sheffield was saying, <laughs> or what the man from uh, from the flat earth society was saying you know because well, I think, because I it think is it you, is it is crazy talk well i think if you can look at um various experiments done by scientific people um look at things like airy salia look mm. at things from samuel robotham um look at things like with these names you know, so you've obviously spent a great deal of time scientists. on all of this i don't know who those people are no and this is the problem um i'm not saying the, the subject is based full of ignorance, but the subject is based up full of ignorance, and that's it. And well, I you've just said it. In, yeah. in my but, heart. But, but, but Ian, does this go back to the original theory that maybe we are all just a figment of each other's imaginations? Christ. Hey, everything's up for grabs. Listen, three yep. years ago, I thought we were living on a spinning ball zooming through infinite yep. space. I don't think that anymore. I, I think something completely different. So it's a profound thing for many people. Do you think um, a tree makes a noise when it uh, falls down in a forest if there is no human being there to hear it? How would you know, Mike? Simple as that. Well, yeah, it's, well, thing, well, well, it? well it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. What you do is you put a microphone on the tree next door, <laughs> right? Then Who you get, cares, then, Mike? Then, Who cares? Then, then you get some way of... Well, of it wouldn't work in the new forest, tree. would it? Because there's no trees there's there. no trees in the new that. forest, that's right. But, <laughs> Ian, but, Ian, if we're all a figment of each other's imagination, then we presumably build the world order as it is. I mean, Mike, like I say, it, after three, up until three years ago, I thought exactly the same as you. I, I thought exactly the same as, as you would, at, at this subject being the most ridiculous thing. It, it, it's changed me because I've decided to go and have a look for myself. Rather what have you than, found? What have you found? Well, I found things that what my belief system has changed in the fact that I used to believe we were a spinning ball zooming through space. I used to believe in infinite galaxies and all the stuff yeah. and everything else. And, and then I realised that once I've gone back into that, it's part of the conditioning since you're born mm. that you, you're, you're told at a very, very early age that the Earth is this and these are the planets and this is... Blah, blah. Yeah, and that's because while, the Earth is round. While, that's, why, that's why you're told it's round, because it is round, yeah. you know. It's like, well, that's yeah. why you're told that, but you know, is, your, your tie is blue because it's blue. Yeah, what I'm saying about the conditioning side of it is after a while, your eyes either glaze over or you go and study the subject. Mm. Yeah, but the trouble with, with your explanation, Ian, is that you're talking as if uh, everybody has just been sort of uh, cracked out of an egg yeah. uh, and they've been given a set of instructions to follow 
uh, and that no, nobody's ever course. actually given anything any thought. Because you have come to this relatively late in life and decided to start questioning your very existence and where we all are and where we're all <laughs> going, you know, it doesn't mean that everybody else is as ignorant Absolutely. as that in the early part of their life. So you shouldn't assume, Absolutely. as many I'm people not, in your position do, it. that nobody yeah. has ever bothered to check anything else out and we all just sit here like lemmings waiting to be told when to jump off the cliff. Well, that's fine. But, I mean, it's not the case that you haven't gone and looked at the, what, so called you know, scientists. Some of us have been on a journey of discovery. Yeah, of some of us have been on a journey of discovery all our life. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with you 100%. What I'm saying to you, though, is after a while you stop questioning what they tell you and you believe it. Well, to who be are true. they? Are you, do you think the lizard people well, are they, running the world as well? You're talking about scientists for, for now, for example, and you're, you're saying that the Earth is round and this is science and the accepted model is that we're zooming around the sun, we're zooming around the sun at 67,000 miles an hour and the sun's taking the entire galaxy at colossal ridiculous speeds. Why, well, why does it matter to you? An hour. Why does it matter to you? Does it matter? I mean, where do you live? Where do you live? In Pool, it right? In Pool, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. 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 So, know the world, Sandbanks, so, so Pool, you live near Sandbanks. You know Sandbanks, Mike? I know Sandbanks very well. It's a yeah, great place. Well, I, yeah. I don't live there. <laughs> you don't live there, no. Yeah, very but, few people do. But, but you, live in, you live in Pool, and it doesn't yeah. matter to you whether the earth is round or flat, because actually Pool is Pool. It always will be Pool. It's just along Absolutely. from Bournemouth, and uh, you can travel down into Dorset and go to the Jurassic Coast, you know, yeah. which is a very historical and, and, place. And also, if the earth was flat, you wouldn't, need yeah. a, you wouldn't need a chain on that ferry either. No. You know, but because I have a business in Swanage, Mike. Yeah, in it's very nice place. Swanage in Dorset. Listen, we've got good. lots of people to get on here. I appreciate just, your can call. Can I just finish, Mike? Well, hurry can up, because we've got to talk thing. to a, a colleague of yours in Wales. Um, you, you, were saying, you were saying, what does it matter? Um, it, 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 it might not matter to most people, but I think the deception for me, and when you, perhaps if you ever get the, the flat earth truth, the deception of what's happened is the issue for me, and I want to know why I've been lied to. Yeah, but you're just a conspiracy theorist, a tinfoil hat-wearing maniac, Ian. Let's talk to Martin, uh, who's in Wales. Martin, are you wearing a tinfoil hat as well? No, I don't, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Jogger, Mike. Yeah, hello, Hello, mate. Good evening. Whereabouts in Wales are you, man? Smoky Dragon, Cardiff. 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 Very nice. I see there's a place down there that's not going to sell booze to people until they've given them a breathalyser test. You see that story today? You know where that shop is? In the slightest. That would not surprise me. Probably (laughs) the best, anyway. (laughs) Yeah, well, I don't know whether you've been at the grog this evening, but Mm. what do you want to tell us? I don't drink. I've been drunk in 20 years. Very right. really? so We don't pollute our bodies with chemicals. We know better. Yeah, well, that's no, right. no, hang on. Are you, are, you a, are you a former drunk, then, who gave it up? <laughs> no, not at all. I've never really been a drinker. Really? Not that oh, person. dear me, no. you've missed so much in life, pal. You really have. Really You're really not a contemporary sort of lifestyle, which you were also akin to. I just don't do that. I, well, if I were you, I'd take it up, mate. It'll change your life yeah, for the better. Yeah, it could better. do, yeah. Mm. You nah. might see the world in a different light. So, anyway, what do you want to tell us? What do you want to tell us? Well, um... Well, I'm a flat earther. I have been for three years. My name is Martin Leitka. I'm flat earth British on YouTube. I just want to thank Brother Ian, who was just on before. Brother your brother? David, is he your brother? Here. We're all brothers. You and my brothers, too. You no, know? I'm not your brother. All right, you're not a man, are you? Eh? Hey? You a man? I am a man, yeah, but that's a very personal brother, question. Man? I don't identify as a man, though. All right, then. Well, let's just get to the point. Yeah, go okay. on. Okay. Well, one of, you, one of you, Mike, has got a sense of the creator. Well, mm. this is what I've got. I've got a sense of the creator, okay? Mm. I feel an intelligent design. I think the evidence is everywhere in the golden ratio or the Fibonacci sequence or a whole number of things. Just take a look at a tree. It replicates itself with sacred geometry. This geometry, this harmonic resonance to the way reality is cannot be ignored. Mm. Now, I don't pretend you written to know this down? anything of what's going on about reality. Mm. But what I can say is... This helocentric model they sold us, once you research into it, I was exactly the same as you two boys there now. Right? No, you've never I been exactly like biggest... us, Martin. All right, I wasn't, but I thought it was the biggest load of nutty shit I'd ever heard. Now, excuse me, it's a family show. It's a family show. Here. Don't get carried away, all right? Uh, OK, right. Um, yeah, it's 9 o'clock, 9.20. It is 9.20, right? yeah, yeah, we'll let you go show. with that, but try not to do it again. Mm-hmm. We've only got okay, a very short right. amount of time, Martin, as well, so make it snappy. Yeah. OK, well, it's the... The non-understanding of the helocentric model, you see, you, 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 I know you defend it without understanding it, but once you dive into it, do the research... How do you know we're not part of questions. it, though? Hey? How do you know well, we're not part of the gatekeeping one community? Of your, one of your colleagues said that you went on Concord and witnessed the curvature. Yeah. Yet Google tells you you have to be higher than a V2 bomber at 72,000 feet to even well, witness Google, yeah, that's right. yeah, but Google that's right. Martin, that's not really possible. Google is not the answer. Google, window. listen, Martin, I've got some bad news for you, mate. Google is not the answer to everything. Sometimes no, you have to actually experience things by yourself. 
cannot witness a curvature from an airplane. That is a, that is a fact. Well, you're Virtual wrong. Jet, you could not no, witness it. You're absolutely wrong. wrong. You come from the Concord. No, you come, Martin, because I've been on it. And listen, mate, uh, never mind about the flat Earth. What about the inner Earth uh, theory the that you Earth? guys follow as Isn't well? That the Hobbit? Well, I haven't got a clue what's down there. None of us have. They've only ever been eight kilometres down. They've only dreamed of the Cobra mine in Russia. That's as far as they have been down. There'd be no deeper. We don't know what's down there. No one does. Or what they say. What about the Mariana well, Hang on, if it's, a, it's a flat Earth. It's, per, it's pretty deep, it's theory, isn't it? If it's eight, eight kilom- well, kilometres down. Flat, yeah, if there's a flat Earth, how can you have... I can explain yeah. the Mariana Trench. Yeah. But you know what, Martin? We'll come back to this because we haven't got yeah. time to get your answer, I'm afraid. Because yeah. we've got to go. We've got loads more to do. We've got to go down to uh, Sandra Lee down in Australia.